Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to GK Plays and we are back on the lake in Medieval. Um, so let's crack right back into it. So, uh, we died on this level last time and uh, obviously we'd already done a fair bit so I sort of gave up with it. And now I'm back. And uh, I'm going to try and do a little bit less talking in this episode only because uh, I am pretty severely like ill I, there's a massive cold going around at the moment and look at you it must be 500 years since you were last of my ferry and you don't look a day over 400 now here we are Zarok's magic has caused the lost mythical town of Melamede to rise in this watery grave see you soon So yeah, so I'm going to try not to talk as much, but uh, a lot of this we saw last time, I believe, so we're going to just go through things slowly, on the basis that last time we got uh, a wee bit frustrated. not what we wanted at all. All that. Oh, this got off to a pleasant start, didn't it? It turns out, if you kill these things, um, and they were, because I was wondering this last time, if they see you, obviously they call those things. Don't know how I got quite got away with that, to be honest. But if you kill them before they call them, uh, they actually do uh, give you the chalice. At uh, spirit, so to speak. Okay. Let's have a little look around. So that leads back outside. Oh, I'm a moron. There's a door right there. That's how you get pa This is where I was getting stuck last time, because I was like, how the hell do you actually get over here, because you can't jump the gate. And that's how you get that. Awesome. Right, now maybe we can make some progress. You know, only maybe. Okay, that's obviously for later. Okay, I think that is all there is to be done here, but... God, I'm an idiot. The ancient people of this long vanished town once sought to harness the power of crystals found in the caverns below. In the caverns now, below. Zarak seeks to unlock the secrets of this arcane science. This mine shaft leads deep into the earth to certain doom in the crystal caverns. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure the Crystal Caverns is actually the next level, so I'm sure that means that that is the exit. Through the door, Dan. Come on. There we go. That wasn't so difficult. Okay, and that takes us to the Earth room. I am going to start killing these, because or trying to, if you can hit them. Or not. That's fine. Only because I know they can just basically throw you off. Coolio. Yeah. 
Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so we don't get confused next time. I'm going to turn it the whole way around. I'm also going to switch back to my axe. Right, that's to the gate, so I don't need to go down there just yet. Oh, hello. Right. Oh, by the way, these fish don't have spirits, so they don't fulfill the um, chalice. Cool. Okay. Yeah, you gotta watch out for them on here because they can very easily knock you off. Swirly Lake! Okay. Oh, balls. Okay, so if this does happen, stand near one, and it will, uh, it'll do that basically, so um, I know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. There we go. So, that's the first room. Nice and easy. Well, it is nice and easy when you can actually see a door. Cool. Okay. Let's keep going. There's another rune over there. That's the time rune, so we need to go and get that. Okay, we've already read that book, so I'm not gonna put you through it again. basically trying not to hammer on my shields, but at this point, I might have to. I'm wondering if the longbow has got daft it sounds longer range. Okay. So that's how you do it. So we kind of got the right idea last time, it's just that I was a dingus and didn't see the door, so... Is there any more of those? Yes, there is. got to be careful, because if you press... Okay, that took way more arrows than it took, so it usually takes um, swings of an axe. So I'll throw the axe in future. Yeah, see, that just jumped up from 64, I think it was, to 76. That's a massive increase. So. <coughs> Aha! We've got it, got it actually... Uh... Ooh, okay. Like I say, I don't remember this level very well, but... I do remember it was something to do with the middle of the leg. Now we know what. Let's go and get uh, juiced up. Should get another bottle out of that. So yeah, we're going to be looking to um, finish Medieval if I can this week. Um, and then uh, we are going to continue on with Spyro, which I know for what I have been neglecting massively um, for this. And we're also going to get some new games. Also, go check out my new Hearthstone videos as well, because that is something I'm doing. As well, so I think we just yeah, we just jump in. Ooh! Hey, this is rather cool. This kind of.
Ah, finally. Let's get that gold shield repaired. Oh, it costs 120 per 100. Oh, that's a lot. Is there anything else I need? Uh, no, I don't think so. Let's just... Okay. Oh, I can't do the voices anymore because I'm ill. Ooh, okay, that's the star rune that we need. Can we get this open? I bet you've got to go in there first. Oh, I'm a moron, okay. Even more of a moron. No, panicking, panicking, panicking. Right. Stop panicking. God, there's a lot of them. Okay. Nice. Okay. You really do have to do these at distance. Ah, uh, should be doing voices. <coughs> I'm sorry. Got the star ring. Okay. Okay. Ooh, what's all that about? There's a way in there, there must be. Let's go back in here. Okay. We seem to have lost our shield again, so we're going to have to be Super careful. So how... Ooh, money. So how do you get that gate open? And how do you get over there? Oh! You're not pleasant. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh. <laughs> Why does it raise up like that? Why is it just not open? <laughs> Surely that's easier. Oh, never mind. Right, let's go get the chalice, first and foremost. Have we got enough... No. Okay. Let's go get the chalice. Yay! Okay. So definitely got the chalice. That's cool. So let's now not get knocked off. It's really hard to tell the perspective of those things. Now I know there's some more of those things on here. There's a hell of a lot, a hell of a lot I can actually do about the, the spit because I haven't got a shield. So okay. Now what I've got to do is try and remember where the star room thing was. I think it's over there. Yeah, because that's the way to the lake. That's the way to the start. I think we've done this level rather well, considering. Last time we really struggled with it. Right, let's get our backsides back in here. Yes. 
Yeah, that was that wasn't too bad actually. That, that that the lake was not too bad at all. Once you actually figured out where things were and actually you know the doors are doors and you know how to go past gates. Okay, could really do with some gold actually. But who's going to talk to us this time? I wonder. <gasps> Yes. <coughs> How are you doing? <laughs> now then, have you got yourself a magic sword? Have you got yourself a magic sword? <laughs> what? Daniel Man, you can't go into battle against an army of undead without a magic sword. Here, take mine. You'll never have to sharpen another blade, or my name's not Dirk Steadfast. It's not enough just to have a magic shield, you know, no matter what that soft ticky stern card says. Good lad. Why, I'd sooner go into battle holding a tea tray than carry that needy gale shield of his. <laughs> oh, finally. Oh, this is awesome. This is the weapon I've been waiting for. Awesome. Wicked. Uh, you'll notice, I might have mentioned this before actually, but you'll notice that the um, the music in the Hall of Heroes actually changes depending on which hero you're going to see. So that chap was obviously, I think, Scottish. Um, so obviously the, the music was like uh, bagpipes. So, yeah, a little observation. I've got to fill the time somehow. Okay, let's go have a little look at the Crystal Caves. Now, I don't, I don't remember this level being terribly long, but I know there's a boss. So let's go and have words. <laughs> cool. Right, let's go and deal with this cave. Again, lots of narrow walkways here. I seem to remember. Oh, Shadow Demons as well. Beautiful. So, let's switch to... I imagine it's very easy to get knocked off here. Okay, the axe seems to deal with them really well. That's fortunate. The chalice is there, so that's dead easy to find. Okay. Is that a wing one? Yeah. Yeah, it seems to deal with them really well, actually. So, we'll go with that. Hello, Mr. Gargoyle. The ancient town of Menomede was destroyed by creatures known as Rhinotaurs. They live on still, but in a state of hibernation deep within these caverns. They use the crystals to prolong their worthless hides. Okay. So they're practically immortal then. Oh, uh, we got imps. We've got imps, so watch your weapons. Okay. Oh, what a moron. Okay, we'll come back to there, shall we? Let's go this way. That was close. And then he lost me axe. Just make sure I didn't miss anything in the panic there. Ooh. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts too. 
Wow, that hurt a lot, actually. Damn. Dang. Okay. Well, I did a thing. Oh, hello. Yeah, we'll do it at you with, from range. Okay. They're not too difficult to deal with. And they hit like a ton of bricks. But well, then again, I expected as much. Woo! Okay, let's heal up. I have no idea where we are in relation to the rest of the map, but uh, we'll... <laughs> awesome goal. Okay, we've got a bottle worth out of that. This sword is so good. Okay. Let's see if we've got any enough for... <laughs> okay. Let's read a book. Tread softly in these caves, for an ill-tempered dragon has a lair here. Ooh, okay. We'll save the shield for that, I think. There's a rhinosaur there, so let's deal with him. Ooh, didn't even take a hit off him. Money! I think that might be... Okay. Let's free these one at a time, shall we? That's the last one. Ooh. Okay. <coughs> they are definitely better dealt at range, I think. It's the dancing riders, ours. Eh, it works. Kinda. Oh, 
Oh, where am I? This is so... I'm so lost. Ooh. Ooh! I didn't even see you. And we got a shield! Yay! Ooh. Okay. Oh, I know where I am. Okay, cool. Wicked. Yep. Cool. I think. How much money have we got? Enough. <laughs> okay. I love those guys. Okay. I think this is the way to the dragon, so I'm gonna... Yeah. The mean old dragon can be summoned by inserting two dragon gems into the eye sockets of the relief. The grouchy dragon doesn't come out much. As he is afraid of the roof collapsing over his head. Yeah, that's your clue to this fight. So, we'll deal with him in a minute. Let's collect all these goodies first. Okay. So, we're going to need the hammer for this one. Yeah, there you go. So, basically, each stage that you hit will lower a crystal. So. It basically does the one before itself. Yeah, it does the one before itself. So that one will do the middle one. Okay. Okay. dares to enter my lair and wake me from my slumber. Aha! Prepare yourself, little man. I shall roast the flesh from your bones. Oh, uh... <laughs> well, in that case, I will pluck out both your eyes. Oh. <laughs> Great. I'm just going to give you a good hiding. <laughs> okay. That's how you do it. No, so, it's the one up there. You've got to be quick. Damn, he is quick. Yeah, he's very quick. Oh. Oh, I keep thinking it's... There we go. So you got to hit him five times by those things. This one? Really hard to remember. There you go. Nice. He's really quick on that one. Okay, we're not going to get that one. Yeah, I think if you're already not on the stage that he's on, that's a bit pointless. No. Nice. 
Ooh, that was tricksy. Nice. One more. That really hurts. Gotcha. Take this dragon potion and leave me alone. Drink it when you need it. It gives you armor that is impervious to heat. Plus, it lets you breathe fire. Now go away. <laughs> oh, I feel quite sorry for him, actually. It's quite sad. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Okay. Let's go back to the sword for now. I don't think... Yeah, so I don't think much is going to get in get in our way at this point. So we've got the star rune, so let's go back to the beginning. I think this is the way. That was really cool at the end with the dragon fight where he, um... Oh, can I go back up there? Okay. So how do we get back up there then? Or am I just being a moron? As usual. Um... Yeah, the whole head switching thing, that that's new. I don't remember that. That's it's really cool that they've done that with a lot of these bosses. They've really like not reworked them so such, but they've just like changed them enough to make them quite tricky. Cuz I re Let me just cross this bridge. Cuz I remember some of these bosses being like so easy. It was a really big disappointment. Like, that's the way down there. I'm sure that's going down to where we've just been, so... How do we get back to the start? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not fall to our death. We really need to go and get the chalice. And I am very, very lost. these caves no, that's just an idea yeah. okay I'm a bit confused Okay, let's try just going down here. Just for the sake of it. I seem to remember that being one way. And this being the other. Ah, yes. Right, that's that. I don't want to cross that just yet because I want to go and get the chalice. Which is, if memory serves, this way. Yes. That was really confusing, that was, just for a minute. I 
I freaking love this game so much. Let's not fall to our death, Sam. Oh! I've got a hammer too. Look at this hammer. Woo! Okay. Alright, let's get out of here before we get our stuff nicked. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Okay. Fourteen chalices. Fourteen. Oh, look at them. They're really starting to add up now. Who wants us this time? You again? Oh, Damn. Danielle. Oh, Danielle. I've got something here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Do you fancy a little gamble, like? Ooh. Okay. So we've got the last longbow, which is the magic one. Awesome! Excellent. So, actually, no. Let's have a word with the shop gargoyle. Let's see if we can't repair our sword a bit more. There we go. So we're going to leave the Hall of Heroes and we're going to end the episode there. We're going to see what the next level is and we will conquer it in the next episode. Let's just have a look see what's next. Ooh, the Callow's Gauntlet. We will conquer that in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you for putting up with my illness. And uh, I will see you in the next episode. And don't forget, if you're enjoying this series, please do like, subscribe, and share. It really does help get this channel going. So please support it in any way you can. Take care, guys. Have a lovely day. Bye now.